I haven't even pressed play yet and I'm already hopelessly addicted. We simply have a single, safety conscious moose who's using a saw blade to mine the crystal in front of him. He's delivering those crystals to the magical wooden conveyor. The crystals then come down, get ground up, and delivered into the minecart. But he's going to be a busy moose today because he's got a lot of crystals to get through. Each layer more valuable than the last. Well, let's get the dopamine rolling. When I want to cash in my pink goo, I can send the storage, and that will automatically sell and give me money. We have $46 to spend. I'm going to buy an extra miner or two. They don't really know where to put themselves yet, so we'll just drop them there. They'll organize themselves. They are moose after all. Now we've got triple the mining production, but we also need probably a little bit more speed out of them. And I found the gem values tab in case you were wondering, we're looking for the black stuff. 400,000 per 10 of those. We just have to mine a little ways to get there. But I've got time if you do, we've got moose to keep an eye on. We seem to be having a bit of a jam up here and I can also upgrade my grinder so we can go grinder left and grinder right. I think we could probably send that away rather quickly for some more money for some more easy upgrades. $30 for saw speed and that's going to affect all of them. We're also going to buy one more miner. One more saw speed. They're like ants. We can just zoom out and watch them tear a big hole in this eventually. And sprinkled in amongst the usual gems, there are some good ones. What you might call a gem amongst the gems. So we definitely want to try and land on that. And there is definitely some bigger upgrades coming along. We can get rails eventually for five grand. We'll buy another miner and plop that down. We're currently making about 70, 60 cents per second. And let's make sure we have lots of grinders. We're also going to increase our capacity. I think they can actually hold more and carry it back and forth. They don't have far to go, so we're not going to bother with speed yet. They basically turn around and dump these on. The storage seems to be taking itself along, I think because it's uh, instantly filling, so we might need to upgrade that. We're also going to increase the grinder speed to 30 RPM. Whatever the case, I'm clearly doing something right, because that thing is going and going and going. I'm going to increase the miner's capacity from 3 to 4. That's actually a huge upgrade for them. We're actually going to do that twice. And a 10% upgrade to their saw speed, and we're going to grab another miner. I want these crystals to look like they're evaporating. They're going to spread like fire. We're going to add more grinders and grinder speed. I'm also learning now that we have to upgrade individual ones. These upgrades don't hit all of them. So we're going to try and do this uniformly just for organization's sake. But since this one's getting backed up, more speed. We can also upgrade our minecart at this point. So we're going to upgrade its speed in a big way. And I'm going to upgrade that as soon as I can because this thing's getting overloaded with pink goo. And our money is pretty consistently up to $5 per second. That obviously drops down in between loads. Look at this poor moose going slowly, no capacity, no saw speed. So we got to spend our hard-earned money upgrading individual ones. Like this guy's carrying one only, so he needs an upgrade to everything. Mostly capacity. This will be the easy way to find the weak ones amongst the group. If they're not carrying enough, we got to load them up better. Upgrade their capacity. And their initial upgrades are so cheap, like it costs 8 to upgrade his speed again, or 12. We basically make that back in an instant. It feels like they're starting to make progress, but they've got a long ways to go. And some of these grinders are definitely getting backlogged, so we're definitely going to increase the speed of them. And now we can just sit back and relax and let the mooses go to work. Doesn't take long before we're full-blown thousandaires. And that means I can add an extra cart to my minecart, which is going to actually move a lot more pink goo along. But our mooses are having to travel a lot further now, so we're going to upgrade their speed a lot. Now the money's going up. Once the thing actually goes in, we're up to about $22 per second. Now it's all about the saw speed. They all need at least a $30 upgrade to saw speed. I think if I go like this, I can actually upgrade them all uniformly. That's why the prices go way, way up. So that's going to be an easier way of doing it because I don't feel like organizing six moose. We can just click over here instead and now they all got an upgrade. And we can start looking more at the collective group of them. Their saw damage is 1. Their speed, 4.5 meters a second. And now that I know I can do it that way, we're going to buy more miners because they're not actually that expensive and well, they'll get upgraded in the group as well. All right, we're just going to go ahead and plop them down there. They'll figure themselves out eventually. And now I can just select them all again and upgrade every thing for them. We're gonna have a million moose army before long. We're almost halfway through this and they're almost to a new yellow shiny gem. Once they all line up and start dumping their stuff, it really fills our card up fast and that feels good. Look at him, he's mining the yellow gem. He's my favorite now. They're definitely also overloading some of our conveyors, so we're going to need to speed up those grinders a lot. Which costs $200 collectively to upgrade the 5 grinders from 40 to 60 RPM. We have more than 5. I think it's taking the lowest ones to upgrade them, so they'll all be uniform eventually. Next, $420 for all of those. Uh, we're going to buy more grinders because it's actually not that expensive. I also never realized how far left and right you can go with these. Uh, we could probably get a lot of grinders. So this is a game that's going to scale really big. Because I have almost $500, just, just buy a few more grinders to make sure that things are going to be going well. We're going to overload our minecarts in no time. We're going to increase the speed of it and see if that makes much of a difference. It seems to be moving along at least. 
Well, we're going to leave our Musin Empire here for a minute and come back and do some big upgrades. $1,000 later, the Grinders aren't doing super well to keep up, so we're going to give them some big speed upgrades. That's better. Look at that go. This feels good where it's at. They're grinding away. These are staying full. The minecart's constantly moving. We're making money. We're going to add another, wow, several minecarts. So every time this thing lands now, it should fill all the way up with goo and take it along right away. We're making money now. They're like little ants down there. They're giant moose ants and they're making their way through the pink stuff. I decided to look backwards and turns out there's nothing really down here. This little guy is mining into that yellow gem really hard. I saw this get filled with some yellow stuff. That's why we have $2,500 suddenly. Well, the cards aren't even getting full at this point, so we need more uh, gems being delivered. So it's a moose upgrade time. So their saw speed is getting upgraded twice. And so is their capacity a lot. Saw damage is going actually doubling. And then their movement speed is also going up. Then we're going to order a few more miners and just drop them in wherever. Because then it's cheap to upgrade them up to uh, par with the other ones. But I'm hopefully going to use the minecarts to capacity at this point to make that money. But we made many thousands of dollars in a hurry there. Probably mostly because of the yellow gem. Now all of the mini miners are a parity. So they're doing two saw damage each. And because there's so many of them, they're chewing through that layer rather quickly. And you can never have too much grinding speed, so we're going to get double that. These gold rocks are worth $1,000 per 10. The pink in comparison is $2 per 10. So we definitely need lots of these coming in, because that's really boosting our income. They're also having to travel quite a distance now, back and forth. They might be mooses, but they're not quick mooses. Ooh, look at all that gold, though. That's got to be worth a lot of money. Once that goes in, we'll be rolling in it. That put us well over $5,000, almost $400 per second, which is actually enough to buy rails. Not really sure what that's going to do, but I think it's actually maybe going to move us closer. Rail length? I don't know what we're upgrading here. Oh, it has a connector for them. Yeah, that's kind of handy because that's going to bring them all closer to it. So we can buy a few of those for sure. Then they don't have to go nearly as far. Grinding speed is also going to go up, but it's really mostly about the moose at this point. We need them getting all the upgrades we can get. So they're going to get a big 50% increase to saw damage. And then a 10% increase to saw speed, so they'll really be chewing through those quickly. And also more speed, so they can get their stuff to and from the carts very quickly. And we're still chewing through a few chunks of gold, so that's going to help. There's another one there, there's another one here they seem to be touching. Not sure what happened here, but they're all taking a different angle now that we've extended the rails out. They're actually going through the pinks pretty quickly now. More damage. That's going to give them a 33% increase from what they're at currently, which is a lot. Now they're actually chewing down through the pink things in real time. They're absolutely destroying those. And another 10% increase to their saw speed, so they're going to be going extra extra quick through things like this and that's going to be hugely valuable the blue rocks are about to get into are worth five times as much they do have a lot more health but they're worth a lot more value lucky for us we got ten thousand dollars so we're going to buy some new miners probably a lot of new miners just to make sure we're up to the task we're going to leave ourselves with seven thousand dollars and our moose army continues we just got to make sure they're all caught up these upgrades are going to get expensive quickly to bring them all up to the right level but they'll get there now we're going to be making money quicker than ever we already made two thousand dollars back and they're getting right into the blues now because there's so many of them they're branching out like fire we have 33 miners in total i wonder how many we can get before the game gives up the rail length isn't that much to increase right now uh, it goes into a bit varying amount so i'm just going to bring it closer to them every inch counts we're also going to increase their speed a little bit because they are going slow. But we're starting to fill up with blues down here. That's where all of our money is coming from and they're grinding through it fairly quickly. This is the site we like to see. We just need like a thousand times more mooses. I'm so proud of these little morons. Look at these little guys go. $65,000 to work with. That means we could definitely get them a lot more saw damage, a lot more saw speed, a lot more capacity, and a lot more speed. And I can't help myself so we're going to give them even more saw damage. That's a big increase again and a little more saw speed. And with our 8 thousand dollars left over we're going to increase the rail so they don't have to travel nearly as far to deliver their stuff it's the perfect mining operation and if we increase the minecart speed it goes from an average of 24.88 to nothing it didn't change things are obviously moving along at a good pace anyway these guys are all chewing into the blues at this point no more pinks getting eaten up we'll increase our uh, minecart speed down here that way that thing's going a little quicker to deliver its stuff i realized before the number i was looking at was rail length and not minecart speed so yes i'm a massive idiot but that's kind of what you're here for if if you're new to this, full disclosure, I'm a massive idiot. But I have too much time on my hands, so we usually manage to accomplish something. And look at this idiot. He came with the pink gems. We're long past those. It is probably a shorter distance, but the blue ones are so much more valuable. The next pink gems are worth twice as much as even the blues. They have twice as much health, but that's gotta be worth it. We got another $10,000. Let's see if we can get the rails a little bit closer to them. We're just saving so much time by bringing this to them. 
And this shape is good because the more we upgrade, the more we're penetrating upwards. It actually makes a huge difference. Like if I put this all the way up, they basically have to mine and turn right around and dump it off. It's a really efficient system. Why do I only have two moose? Are they all stacked up on top of each other? Extending the rail might confuse them a little bit, but they're back sorted out now. Where? Why? Okay, this isn't the smartest moose in the world. He tries really hard, but he went all the way back here for some reason. He should be mining right here. And they're finally breaking through into the next layer of pink stuff, and they're doing it in force. So that's going to be a huge amount of money once that starts getting processed. And I'm pretty sure I can sort of just force them into the pink stuff if I just keep uh, extending the rails out because they won't really have a choice. They have to deliver here. The closest is inevitably going to be the stuff up top. And we're really going to feel it on the bottom end when it's all this pink stuff coming in for massive amounts of money. That's a little better. They're hardly touching the blues anymore. Especially if I increase the rail length a few more times, they really can't even touch the blues anymore unless they work their way backwards. Don't know why they do that. Since the rail is getting long, we're going to increase the minecart speed so they're gonna make it to the bottom and back but everything seems to be moving well this thing's waiting too long that's a little better though they got themselves sorted out now this whole thing is full so that can deliver itself and that's gonna bring our money up big so big we're gonna increase the minecart speed again and maybe one more time and i'm gonna extend the rail length this one maybe two more times to really really push them up into the pink so the whole point of this today is to increase our penetration. It's no wonder nobody respects the common moose. He's coming all the way back here to mine. I keep picking them up like this and dropping them back up here where they're supposed to be. We're going to increase the uh, saw damage of all of these from 5 to 6. That's a pretty big increase. Also, they're carrying capacity. That way, when they unload, they really unload. I'm also going to increase the minecart speed probably by quite a lot. This next one's going to cost $7,000, but these things are doing the bulk of the travel these days. Now look at them. They're like little rockets, shuttling everything back and forth. I think we're going to need more minecarts. They're not doing this very efficiently, so I got to bring more rails along. Luckily, those only cost a few hundred dollars each. Oh, I didn't know they actually just... Okay, so it just gives them more on top. Oh, that's actually much easier. If the minecart basically reaches to the end, it hardly has to travel at all. One of the downsides to upgrading without thinking is these all take a long time to fill up now. When they do go, they un <laughs> unleash a massive amount of stuff down here, but they might go off uh, less frequently. But I am going to increase their storage point so they can have a little more storage area. So at least more stuff can be loaded up here. And we'll also increase the speed. That way they can chew through it and land it all here much, much easier. Okay, the rail length has got to go up again. We just need to keep pushing them up. Because they keep going back to this blue stuff. So I need to throw them back to the valuable stuff. I'm also going to buy more uh, minecarts. This thing is maxed out now. It is as big as it can get. And we're also going to increase its speed to make sure it's moving and more storage. It should take a long time to fill up. But once it goes now, it's going to unload a lot of money. Like it's all fun in there and it's hard, hardly filling up okay it's taken off now that's gonna be a giant boost of money that was almost a thousand dollars per second so the rail length is going up with all of our hard-earned money these upgrades are getting expensive but they're uh, definitely cutting down the time it needs the miners to work obviously what we need are more miners we currently have 33 i'm gonna spend twenty thousand dollars and just buy as many as i possibly can 62 so we've almost doubled the amount of miners we have uh it's gonna take a hot sec to upgrade all of them uniformly but we're gonna do it and we're starting to get into the next layer these are 50 percent more valuable than our current layer so that's gonna add up quickly we've already made eight thousand dollars so let's start clicking on things until they cost ten thousand dollars per upgrade they're actually already chewing a long ways up into this dark blue stuff and once that starts to get actually processed we'll be really rolling in money the side damage upgrades in the beginning are super expensive but i think you could bring them all up uniformly we're routinely staying up like five hundred dollars a second we're making thousands of dollars constantly some of these idiots are still going the wrong way so you gotta pick them up and drop them back in the good stuff they're already like a quarter of the way through to the green stuff, so we really need to extend our tracks out to meet them. That's hopefully also going to tempt them less to go backwards. I need them moving upwards. More penetration. I mean, look how long it is now. It can barely fit on the screen anymore. I guess at any point I want to, I can just send all the minecarts and it'll automatically deliver so they can uh, pile all of this up in a massive, massive way. That'll be a nice big delivery of money. That feels good. So the money got up to about $1,500 a second. I'm pretty sure once it unloads this, that's going to go even higher. What are we going to go up to? Survey says $2,000 a second. I'm going to increase the rail length a few more times because we have over $50,000. I just really need them focused upwards as much as possible. Mm, then we're going to spend $50,000 on more miners. That's not going to add a ton of them, but it's going to add some of them. And they're pretty cheap to upgrade, at least at first. Now we have 90 miners in total. Upgrades are definitely expensive for them, but we're bringing the damage up slowly. The minimum is Four, the max is only six so the damage is actually catching up quite quickly actually that kind of makes me wonder if you could just pick them all up can you just mine like up there 
Will they do that? No, I've just interrupted their migration. This is so addicting because you're just constantly making progress and watching it all happen. We're going to make the rail length even longer now. We're going to spend $40,000 doing that to push them basically into greens already. Some of them are going all the way back into the pink zone just to annoy me. We're going to drop them right up there where they belong. And this little guy, he's also going up there. They're penetrating quite deeply into the greens already. These are worth $40 per 10. The blues we were just mining are only 30. So we're going to bring their saw damage up again because that stuff's going to get harder to mine. Some of the miners are really devoted to moving backwards to pick up some of this other stuff. I really don't know why, so I might have to go wider with my carts. Or when in doubt, we'll just make the rail length even longer. We're just going to push right up into the green so they have to mine whatever's right in their face. Look at all those nice colors coming in to get ground up for massive amounts of money. I think at this point I am going to add grinders to either side. Uh, I think it's just going to help us uh, keep things mining upwards in a strange way. So now I just need to find a way to increase the rail length all the way up. I think I'm being stupid again because I can't find a way actually to extend the minecarts here. And that's going to get annoying because these guys are going to start mining down here instead. I need them mining up here and up here only. Apparently I can add more minecarts now because they probably match that. So I think I'm starting to understand how it works. I think they need more load speed as well. That was really expensive, but I have a lot of money. I'm making more money than I know what to do with currently. Oh, I see. You need to have minecarts down here to increase the rails. So now I can put these side rails on. These are going to be really cheap to extend all the way up. We're adding a bunch of girth to our penetrator. Uh, this is definitely starting to add up. That's costing like $50,000 to extend it out, but probably worth it. We're going to keep going up and up and up because we're almost into the next layer. We have giant trains full of valuable green gems and we're soon to have blue ones too. We're going to increase everyone's saw damage for $28,000. That's going to bring us up to an average of 6. I left my beautiful little idiots alone to mine for a while and look how deep they penetrated. We made $2 million while doing it. So we obviously need more rail length to get us closer to those valuables. We have $2 million so we can afford to do this. Now they don't have to walk nearly as far to get whatever these very valuable gems are. These brown ones, $70 each. Which means our miners are going to need more saw damage. They're currently at 6. These upgrades are $60,000, $80,000 each, but now their damage is up to 15. As for saw speed, 140 RPM, we'll give it a few of those. 291, and we'll do the same for their capacity and speed. Oh, we're out of money. Well, we got the fun upgrades done anyway, so now they're making money. And all that really matters is that the rail length is close to them, so they don't have to travel very far with their valuable goods. Uh, our money casually was just up to like three, four thousand dollars a second, and I imagine it's only going to go up now that we're way into this stuff. While I'm at it, I'm going to spend the next sixty thousand dollars on minecart count. I'm actually making money almost faster than I'm spending it. Like, the money coming in is actually sort of that absurd. Like I can continue to click upgrades, and we clearly need some better speed because these are sitting empty and lonely. But once they, things start coming in, they're gonna pile up quick. Look how quickly they're chewing through this. We made another 20 grand, so we still need to extend our lines. Well, they'll be okay for themselves for an hour, then we'll come back for more money. What we're gonna call a few short minutes later, and we have quite a gaping hole. Not sure why they went up here in a little path, but they sure did, almost all the way to the end. Now we just have 11 million dollars and a dream. So let's see how far that can go to getting us a little closer up again. I feel like they have a long journey to carry those rocks, which is really funny, but not very efficient. Like, their sole purpose in life is to carry four rocks across the entire world to dump it off once, and then they die of old age. So we'll help them out. We'll spend about a million dollars on rail length to get them closer to whatever this stuff is. That's better. Now they hardly have to move at all. This stuff is worth a hundred dollars each. The next problem we're faced with is, I don't think we have enough miners, so we're gonna add, I don't know, a lot of those. These are getting expensive, but we just went from about 90 miners to 300. So that should hopefully help us, you know, make some progress. Now we need to spend a little bit of money getting them all up to proper speed. Those cost hundreds of thousands of dollars already. And I'm just gonna spend the remaining 4.2 million on saw damage, which should put it up pretty nice, and then they can really chew into things. <laughs> Look at this steady stream of resources coming in. We're gonna be rich. We've already made back 160 grand and I've been sitting here for two seconds wondering what I've even created. Look, we're into the highest end stuff we can get. $150 for 10. Lots of health, but they'll chew through that in no time. We penetrated so deep that it actually takes a second to travel all the way down it. And at this point we're making so much money we might as well just increase storage amount, speeds for things, because these really aren't that expensive. Our money per second is in the tens of thousands of dollars. My little moose ants have pushed halfway through the final stuff. They're almost at the end. And that's great because we made almost a million dollars back already, but upgrades are costing a lot of money by themselves. $400,000 to upgrade every miner just a little bit. But I'm happy with what I've accomplished here today. A gaping chasm right in the earth, just for profit. Millions and millions of dollars earned.